You're on. Alright, my name is Adam Vanderbeesen. This on my right is Tim Pummett. On the left is Rio de Trotta. And this is our projectile launcher for our AP Physics class. Uh, after several uh, failed attempts to find a functioning projectile launcher, we decided to go with this model. We took three hooks to anchor this extension spring, and we, we cemented a screwdriver in on onto the spring, and the spring protrudes through the, or the screwdriver protrudes through the spring, and it will be pulled back, and when you let go, It'll, the, that front of the screwdriver will hit the ball and it'll come flying out into the bucket. Hopefully. The way that we, ca the way that we calculated this was first by finding an angle, which we could do by the law of sign because we just got the height of between this, the base and this point and also the length between that and that. And since it's 9 degrees, you could do law of sign to find an angle, which is 44.3 degrees. And to find a velocity of the ball, we used the photo gate, as seen here, and we measured how fast it's going out by measuring the diameter of this, which is 30.2 millimeters, and seeing how long it takes for it to pass through the photo gates, which was 0.016 sec six seconds. Um, and that came out to be 1.79 meters per second, since velocity is distance over time, and that's our velocity initial in this direction. Uh, next, we got the velocity for initial for y direction using the angle we got from here and the velocity we got here by just multiplying the sine of 44.3 times 1.79 meters per second, which was, came out 1.25 meters per second. And we did the same thing for v initial x and we got 1.28 meters per second. Next, we figured out where this would uh, land from this point using uh, just normal projectile motion equation um, for y, b is y equals b y t plus y initial plus negative 4.9 t squared, that's the acceleration uh, half. And we made it equal to zero, and initial, y initial would be table plus the distance to here, which was 116 centimeters. And we just used quadratic equation to find out the, step, the time it takes to produce to go to land on the ground, which was just 0.63 seconds and multiplied that by x initial velocity and we got 80.9 centimeters. And we have determined that the bucket will be right around here if our lovely assistant can put it right here, right in the center of the bucket on the piece of tape. The edge should be probably near the line. All right, give him a big hand. Roll, roll it. This is trial two um, of our physics, physics project. Um, we moved the bucket a bit closer because we have to first clear the top of this, uh, the bucket, which makes it so we subtract the height, and that subtracts a height of 23.7 centimeters, which makes it so using our equations, it would go in, would clear this point at 74 centimeters away from the table. And originally, when we saw it, we put it at 80.9 centimeters, we were actually putting it at 85, which is why it didn't reach the bucket. And we hope that this time will work. Um, it's not a line. Can you move the bucket like a couple inches to the right? Yes. A little more. One more push. <laughs> We'll call that a bad thing. Uh, yeah, the hook was an on all the nice star. Drawbridge? It's fire.
all three, we've, we've been having mechanical problems. The uh, hooks that are bracing the spring sometimes get stuck so they don't get, have enough gift for the spring to uh, release and it flounders out the tube. <laughs> so hopefully that won't happen this time. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That landed in the ball. <laughs> <That> <laughs> I just bounced out. All right, give me a hand. Big hand.